Keep Talking Arabic. Copyright Jane Whittock and Mahmoud Gafar. Recording copyright Hodder and Stoughton Limited, a division of Hachette UK 2013. Hello and welcome to Keep Talking Arabic. This fun and effective course will continue to help you communicate in Arabic quickly and easily by walking you through 10 simple and easy to understand conversations. Each conversation is designed to present new language. It then gives you a chance to practice it before you respond in real-life situations that are based on the conversation. Each lesson is divided into five parts. In part one, you'll learn the most important words and expressions used in the conversation. You'll hear the English version of each expression, followed by a translation of the expression in Arabic. Make sure you practice saying these expressions out loud. It will help you learn more of the language. Part two is a chance to hear the conversation in full and answer a few basic questions about what's happening in the exchange. At this point, you'll slowly be building up comprehension. Part three gets a bit more interesting. Not only are you asked more questions about details in the conversation, but it's also a chance for you to start practicing more of the language you're learning. Part four adds some more language practice and gives you a few more details about the conversation and how the language works. The conversation practice finishes with part five. Here you'll get some additional words or language that are related to the conversation so that you can practice what you've learned in different ways, including personalizing some of the expressions you've learned. After each conversation practice set, a learning plus lesson takes what you've learned from the conversation and expands on it by giving you more vocabulary, language or phrases to use with the new words and expressions you now know. In addition, throughout all parts of the lesson, you'll have chances to learn additional pieces of information about the language, the culture and the people and places of the Arab world. That's all you need to know about the course, so come on, let's keep talking. Keep Talking Arabic – Useful Expressions This introductory unit to the Keep Talking Arabic course allows you to get speaking right away by practicing a number of commonly used words and useful expressions. There are variations in how Arabic speakers from different countries pronounce some of these. In this unit, we'll give you the Egyptian pronunciation. The pronunciation in other Arab countries is often reasonably close. We'll meet some of the variations in the later conversations so that you can recognize them also. But now, are you ready to listen and practice? Let's keep talking. Part 1. Numbers. 1. Wahid. Two, اثنين, three, ثلاثة, four, أربعة, five, خمسة, six, ستة, seven, سبعة, eight, ثمانية, nine, تسعة, ten, عشرة, eleven, حداشر, twelve. اتناشر ثلاثين تلاتاشر فورتين اربعتاشر ففتين خمستاشر سكستين ستاشر سبعتين سبعتاشر ايتين تمنتاشر ناينتين تسعتاشر تونتي عشرين تونتي وان واحد وعشرين اثنين وعشرين ثلاثة وعشرين أربعة وعشرين خمسة وعشرين ستة وعشرين سبعة وعشرين ثمانية وعشرين تسعة وعشرين ثلاثين أربعين خمسين ستين سبعين ثمانين تسعين A hundred. Maya. 
Part 2. Days of the week. Sunday. Al-Had. Monday. Itinain. Tuesday. Italat. Wednesday. Al-Arba. Thursday. Al-Khamis. Friday. Al-Goma. Saturday. Al-Sabt. Part 3. Months of the year. January. Yanayr. February. Febrayr. March. Mars. April. April. May. Mayo. June. Yonio. July. Yolio. August. Augustus. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. Or December. Part 4 Survival Phrases. Can you repeat it, please? Ul tani min fadlak. Once more, please. Tani min fadlak. Speak slower, please. Ala mahlak min fadlak. Do you understand? Fahemt. I understand. Ana fahemt. I don't understand. Ana ma fahemt. I don't know. Ana ma araf. Is that right? Sahih. That's right. Sahih. Do you speak English? Do you speak Arabic? بتتكلم إنجليزي؟ بتتكلم عربي؟ I speak Arabic, but not very well. بتكلم عربي، بس مش كويس. How much does it cost? بكام؟ Where is? فين؟ I'm sorry. Ana Asif. What time is it? Sa'akam. Keep talking Arabic. Conversation 1. Where are you from? In this conversation, you'll learn how to talk about your nationality, say where you live, talk about the weather. Part 1. Here are the key phrases you'll hear in the conversation. Listen to the English meaning, then listen to the Arabic words and phrases and repeat what you hear. You'll hear some of the more difficult words and phrases three times, each at a different speed, to help you with your pronunciation. The weather is strange. In Cairo. Today. The weather is strange in Cairo today. الجو غريب في القاهرة اليوم الجو غريب في القاهرة اليوم الجو غريب في القاهرة اليوم I'm Jordanian أنا أردنية Where are you from exactly? Hadritik menin bizzabt. Hadritik menin bizzabt. Hadritik menin bizzabt. I live in Saknafi. I'm Egyptian. Ana Masri. I'm from Alexandria. Anna min Iskinderia. How lovely. Shu Jamila. 
Alexandria is cold. Iskinderia bird. In winter, Bishita. Isn't it? Mishek. Alexandria is cold in winter, isn't it? Iskinderia bird. Bishita. Mishek. Iskinderia. Bird Bishita Mishek Iskinderia Bird Bishita Mishek No, the weather's warm. La Egau Dafi Because of the sea. Alashan el Bahr. No, the weather's warm because of the sea. لا الجو دافي علشان البحر لا الجو دافي علشان البحر لا الجو دافي علشان البحر Anyway, على العموم. Pleased to meet you. فرصة سعيدة. فرصة سعيدة. فرصة سعيدة. Some of the words may already be familiar from your earlier Arabic studies, but did you get the pronunciation right? The last two phrases contained examples of the Arabic guttural letter Ain. This letter is uniquely Arabic and is pronounced as a low, strangulated R. Ah. Try repeating the last two phrases again, this time concentrating on that sound. First, anyway. Al -al and now, pleased to meet you. فرصة سعيدة. How did it go? Remember to go ahead and repeat part one again if you need more practice. Or if you're ready, you can move on to part two. Conversation one, where are you from, part two. Sammy lives in Cairo with his family and has decided to visit the Cairo Arts and Culture Festival. He's wandering around when suddenly it starts to rain. He runs to shelter under an advertising sign where another visitor, Najiba, is also sheltering. She moves to one side to make room for him. The first time you listen, just try to answer the following questions. Where is Najiba from? Where does Najiba live? Where is Sami from? Ya hala, jow gharib fil qahira al-yom. Ahlan. حضرتك مش مصرية أكيد لا أنا مش مصرية أنا أردنية حضرتك منين بالزبط؟ أنا من عمان ساكنة في جبل عمان أهلا وسهلا بيكي في مصر أنا مصري من اسكندرية شو جميلة اسكندرية برد بالشتاء مش هيك؟ لا الجو دافي علشان البحر عمان برد في الشتاء لأنها عالية على العموم فرصة سعيدة أنا سامي كامل تشرفنا أستاذ سامي أنا نجيب رمضان So did you get the answers? First where is Najiba from? Did you say that she's Jordanian and she's from Amman? Well done. Amman is the capital of Jordan and almost half the population of Jordan live and work in the city. What about the second question? This is trickier. Where does Najiba live? Well done if you heard where she lives. Jabal Amman. This is a district of Amman, 
and the name literally means Amman Mountain. If you manage to pick out that information, you're doing really well. And lastly, where is Sammy from? He says, Ana Masri min Iskenderia, which means, I'm Egyptian from Alexandria. Well done if you got all three questions right. If you didn't, don't worry, but it might be a good idea to go back and listen again to see if you can pick out all the information. Now you're ready to move on to part three. Conversation one, where are you from? Part three. Now listen to the conversation again. This time, you'll be asked the following questions about the conversation. What does Sammy say the weather is like in Alexandria in winter? And what does Najiba say about Amman in winter? يا هلا الجو غريب في القاهرة اليوم أهلا حضرتك مش مصرية أكيد لا أنا مش مصرية أنا أردنية حضرتك منين بالضبط أنا من عمان ساكنة في جبل عمان أهلا وسهلا بك في مصر أنا مصري من إسكندرية شو جميلة إسكندرية برد بالشتاء مش هيك؟ لا الجو دافي علشان البحر عمان برد في الشتاء لأنها عالية على العموم فرصة سعيدة أنا سامي كامل تشرفنا أستاذ سامي أنا نجيب رمضان So, did you understand most of the conversation this time? Talking about the weather is always a good icebreaker in any language, and Najiba starts the conversation by commenting on the rain, saying that this weather is strange or unusual in Cairo. But what does Sami say the weather is like in Alexandria in winter? Did you say, it's warm? You could have added, because of the sea. Did you get that? If you did, that's great. The Mediterranean Sea moderates the climate of Alexandria, preventing the city from becoming too cold in winter or too hot in summer. Okay, next question. What does Najiba say about Amman in winter? Najiba says Amman is cold in winter. Did you get that? She also adds, because it's high meaning because it's at a high altitude. These are very useful phrases about the weather. Try repeating cold. Listen and repeat. Bird. Bird. And now warm. Listen and repeat. Daffy. Daffy. And next. Because of the sea. Listen and repeat. Alashan al Bahr. Alashan al Bahr. Let's practice that. Listen to Najiba asking if the weather in Alexandria is cold in winter. Answer her by saying, No, the weather's warm because of the sea. Shu Jamila, Iskindriya Bird Bishita Mshek. Well done if your response sounded like this. لا. الجو دافي علشان البحر. Earlier in the conversation, you heard Sami and Najiba talking about where they're from. Repeat after Sami saying, I'm Egyptian from Alexandria. أنا مصري من إسكندرية. أنا مصري من إسكندرية. Did you manage that? Now let's repeat after Najiba saying I'm from Amman. And notice that in Arabic the city of Amman begins with the guttural sound. Ah. Listen and repeat I'm from Amman. أنا من عمان. 
أنا من عمان. Now listen and repeat. I live in Jabal Amman. ساكنة في جبل عمان. ساكنة في جبل عمان. When you meet new people, it's always good to know the question, where are you from exactly? It's a good way to show interest in people and start a conversation with a new friend. Listen and repeat. حضرتك منين بالضبط؟ حضرتك منين بالضبط؟ Okay, let's practice these in a conversation. You play the part of Najiba this time. Answer Sammy's question about where you're from exactly by saying, I'm from Amman. I live in Jabal Amman. Ready? حضرتك منين بالضبط؟ Is this what you said? أنا من عمان. ساكنة في جبل عمان. Well done. If you feel ready, you can move on to part four. Or if you want, you can listen again and practice some more. Conversation one, where are you from, part four. Now listen to the conversation again. When you're finished, you'll be asked some questions about the meanings of certain words and expressions. So listen carefully. Ya hala, jow gharib fi al-qahira al-yom. Ahlan. حضرتك مش مصرية أكيد لا أنا مش مصرية أنا أردنية حضرتك منين بالضبط؟ أنا من عمان ساكنة في جبل عمان أهلا وسهلا بيكي في مصر أنا مصري من اسكندرية شو جميلة اسكندرية برد بالشتاء مش هيك؟ لا الجو دافي علشان البحر عمان برد في الشتاء لأنها عالية على العموم فرصة سعيدة أنا سامي كامل تشرفنا أستاذ سامي أنا نجيب رمضان أوكي okay. So now we have a few questions for you about the conversation. Question one, what does the following word mean? Masri. Masri. If you said Egyptian, you're correct. Nationalities in Arabic usually end with the sound E, and some of these appear in English too. For example, Iraqi, Kuwaiti, Yemeni. So the Arabic word for Egypt is Masr. To make the nationality Egyptian, we add E. Masri. For a female, you'll also need to add the feminine ending. Masriya. So now try saying I'm Egyptian for a man and then for a woman. Listen and repeat. Anna Masri. Anna Masri. أنا مصرية أنا مصرية Or in Najiba's case, I'm not Egyptian. Try that. Listen and repeat. أنا مش مصرية أنا مش مصرية And what about Jordanian? How do you say that? Well, the country is Jordan. Il Urdun. This actually translates as the Jordan. You should note that the is used with some countries, but you can ignore it when making the nationality. So the nationality is Urduni. Or for a female, Urduniya. Try saying I'm Jordanian as a man. Listen and repeat. Anna Urduni. Anna Urduni. And now as a woman, listen and repeat. 
أنا أردنية أنا أردنية Well done. So now let's move on to the next question. What does this little word mean? Min. Min. Did you say from? That's right. You've heard it several times in the conversation. For example, when Najiba says, I'm from Amman. Ana min Amman. Let's listen and repeat that phrase. Ana min Amman. Ana min Amman. Now use the same expression to say the town or city you are from. Did you get that? Well done. You also heard the word from in the question. Where are you from exactly? The Arabic word order is you from where exactly. The word from is put together with the word where to produce the combination from where. This sounds like Minin. Try saying the whole question. Listen and repeat. Hadritik Minin Bizabt. Hadritik Minin Bizabt. Very good. Now, you may have already met the polite word for you. Hadritik. And learn that the ending is slightly different when talking to a male. Hadritak. So, how would you ask a male, where are you from exactly? Have a go now. Did your answer sound like this? Hadritak minin bizzapt. Well done if it did. And do you remember the meaning of this expression? Shu jamila. Shu jamila. Did you say how lovely? Najiba uses this Jordanian expression to respond when Sami tells her he's from Alexandria. Let's practice this. Listen and repeat. Shu jamila. Shu jamila. Now you play the part of Najiba and respond to Sami. Ready? أهلا وسهلا بك في مصر أنا مصري من اسكندرية Did you respond enthusiastically like this? شو جميلة Good. Now the final question. Najiba and Sami chat about what the weather is like in Alexandria and Amman. And then Sami says على العموم فرصة سعيدة أنا سامي كامل what is he saying? Listen carefully. على العموم فرصة سعيدة. أنا سامي كامل. على العموم فرصة سعيدة. أنا سامي كامل. Did you say, anyway, pleased to meet you. I'm Sammy Kamil. The phrase meaning anyway is a useful way of redirecting a subject. Let's listen and repeat that. على العموم على العموم And the expression Sammy uses for pleased to meet you literally means happy occasion. Listen again for that strangulated sound and repeat the phrase. فرصة سعيدة فرصة سعيدة you may already know another phrase meaning pleased to meet you from previous studies. This is the one Najiba uses when she replies, pleased to meet you, Mr. Sami. Notice that in Arabic, you can use the title Mr. with either the family name or the first name. Let's practice that one as well. Listen and repeat. Tasharrafna Ustaz Sami. Tasharrafna Ustaz Sami. This literally means you have honoured us, Mr. Sami. Arabic has a great variety of polite expressions and responses. 
One of the joys of learning is to build up your repertoire. You can never use them too much in Arabic conversation. So, to end part four, change the subject after Najiba talks about the weather by saying, Anyway, pleased to meet you, I'm... And then add your name and surname. Amman bird fish shita, lianha alia. Did your answer sound like this, except with your name? Ala al umum fursa saida. Ana sami kamil. Good. If you feel confident about the conversation you've practiced, you're ready to move on and learn some more countries and nationalities in part five. Conversation one, where are you from? Part five. You've listened to Sami and Najiba talking about where they're from. But you'll need some more names of Arab and English speaking countries and nationalities to talk about yourself and others. Many of the countries will sound familiar, but you'll need to mimic the Arabic pronunciation to sound authentic. Repeat the country, followed by the nationality. You'll hear both the male and female versions. Here's an example. Lebanon. 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 Lebanese, for a male and then for a female. Lebanese. 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 Okay, here are some more. Iraq. El Iraq. El Iraq. Iraqi. Iraqi. Iraqiya. Iraqi. Iraqiya. Syria. 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 Syrian. Suri. Suriya. Suri. Suriya. America. 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 American. Amriki. Amrikiya. Amriki. Amrikiya. Ireland. Irlanda. Irlanda. Irish. Irlandi. Irlandia. Irlandi. Irlandia. Scotland. You should note here that foreign words that start with two consonants, such as sk or ch, are alien to Arabic, and so a helping sound, e, is inserted at the beginning to make them easier to pronounce. Scotlanda. Scotlanda. Scottish. Scotlandi. Scotlandia. Scotlandi. Scotlandia. The words for England and English sound a bit different, so pay special attention to them. First, England. Ingelterra. Ingelterra. And now English. Inglesi. Inglesia. Inglesi. 
Inglesia. So how would a man say I'm English? Have a go and then listen for the correct response. Anna Inglesi. Did you get that one? And how would a woman say I'm American? Try it on your own and then listen for the correct way to say it. Anna Amrikia. What about either a man or woman saying I'm from Ireland? Anna Min Irlanda. Or I'm from London. Anna Min London. Excellent. Remember that the Arabic word Anna can mean I or I am. And you can use it to talk about your name and where you come from. Now introduce yourself using the new expressions you've just learned. Give your name and nationality and then say which town or city you're from. Well done. You're finished with conversation one, where are you from? Go back to practice talking about your nationality, saying where you live and talking about the weather. Or, if you're ready, move on to Learning Plus. Learning Plus, talking about where you live. In conversation one, we heard Najiba saying that she lives in Jabal Amman. Sakna fi Jabal Amman. You may have noticed that she didn't use the word I because she had just said I'm from Amman. If she was only saying I live in Jabal Amman, she would probably have included the word for I, and the expression would have sounded like this. Anna Sakna fi Jabal Amman. So, as a female, I live in is Anna Sakna fi. But for a male, the feminine ending is taken off. Anna Sakin fi. Try repeating I live in as a male and as a female. Anna Sakin fi. Anna Sakna fi. And now say where you live. Very good. Now let's try the polite question where do you live? The changes for male and female also affect this question. Try repeating the question, first to a male and then a female. Where do you live? Hadritak sakin fin. Hadritak sakin fin. The word order is you live where. So how would you ask Najiba where she lives? Have a go and listen for the correct question. Hadritik sakna fin. And what about Sami? Have a go and listen for the correct question. Hadritik sakna fin. Very good. And finally, listen to this man. What are his questions? And is he asking a man or a woman? Ahlan, hadritik menin bizzabt? Sakna fin. Did you understand that he's asking a woman where she's from exactly and where she lives? If you did, that's great. Now listen to the woman's response. What does she reply? Ya hala, ana lubnaniya min Beirut. Ana sakna fil manara. Did you understand? She says, Hello, I'm Lebanese from Beirut. I live in Manara. Now try saying hello and talking about your nationality, where you're from and where you live. You can also try ending a conversation by changing the subject and saying, Pleased to meet you. When you're finished, it's time to move on to the next conversation. Good luck.